So now we're going to be going into a Synology DS1618 and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to use the brand new M2D18 NVMe and SATA based SSD cache card. So here we are on the desktop. I've got the card physically installed already with a couple of 970 EVOs. And what we need to do is head on up, go to the storage manager, Head on down here to SSD cache, and this is this NAS run now has one SSD and one hard drive for our VM test that we're running for another video. And we're going to the SSD cache section, and we're going to create our SSD cache. Now, if you've got a couple of SSDs on the card, you can go for read write cache or read only. Think of this as RAID 1 and RAID 0. We're going to go for read write cache for the sake of our video regarding VMs, and we're going to use both of them and stick them in the same volume. In a RAID 1, so that gives us our read-write cache. We're going to go straight ahead and allocate the full size, and we're going to create our um, cached volume with these SSDs. So again, I'm using the new Samsung 970 EVO NVMe SSDs, and what this is doing right now is this is going to build a RAID configuration with these two disks for the sake of our SSD cache. And it's going to mount it here, so it's going to build it all together, and pop them together once again these are 500 gig drives but in a raid one environment we're only going to see 500 gig together so it's still going to be doing that in the background so i think i'm going to have to fast forward this video the tiniest bit just to get this sorted rather than keep you here listening to the dulcet tones of my voice let's go ahead and after that where you can see the bench testing here happening in real time as well so we're going to fast forward this video up and just make our way to when the ssd is mounted and there we have it. Now we have our mounted SSD cache. The SSD cache volume now lives here. And here's our two drives. And the whole thing's laid out beautifully. And again, it, there's our original hard drive and SSD volume. Neither of those are to do with the SSD caching. And again, there's our cache devices listed on our list of all of these. And again, you can check the health of individual SSDs just like you can with normal hard drives as well. But again, this won't be testing caching. That'll just test drive health so if we go through here we can do normal tests just like we would on any other drive but once again we can't really use these drives in the traditional storage sense if we go to the file manager we can see original storage there we can create um, normal pools of uh, uh, volumes of storage using hard drives but once again ssds on this card can only be utilized for SSD caching, not live access storage. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be making my way over to the VM and seeing the performance differences with IO meter and Passmark performance. Now we've got SSD cache enabled on this NAS. So I'm gonna move over to that now and I don't know if that's gonna be in this video or the next one. But otherwise, see you on the other side. 